Alright, so I'm here with my buddy Eric. We're in New Orleans, New Orleans. New Orleans, darling. New Orleans, darling. And so, Eric, I want you to introduce yourself and just uh, tell us, uh, tell everyone out there how you know us. Well, I had friends on a flight to New York going to a festival that uh, Louisiana had a booth at, and uh, it was tourism. I work in the tourism industry. And uh, I got them some tickets and uh, invited them to my house. And they came and they happened to be very good friends with the Trouble Notes. And so I looked at their Facebook page. I said, man, that music is killer. Love it. Uh, and so I invited them on a swamp tour. And next thing you know, they're uh, my bestest new friends. And uh, they rock the show in New Orleans tonight. I, I, I guess the rest of the US tour is gonna be incredible. And, could possibly see me at one venue before y'all leave and definitely back in March when y'all come back to the States. Yeah. If that was a little uh, little little slip Freudian slip in there that you might be showing up somewhere, that's really cool. Yeah. So what I want to ask uh, is uh, what because uh, we, we we had what we said was one of the absolute best days of the tour with with y'all. Yeah. With y'all with y'all with y'all with y'all with y'all and we were having a laugh because like the entire time Ollie was scared shitless of gators. Pretty yeah. scared since Crocodile Dundee. I remember like uh, just arriving and like the first thing we see when we go to the boat is the gator there and you already named him Ollie the Gator. Yeah, Ollie the Gator. Uh, there was a couple of nicknames named during that uh, yesterday. Yeah, what's the, the best one? During the video tour. Uh, what's the best one? The Swamp Donkey. Swamp Donkey Blues. Uh, watch for the song coming out because uh, it's coming out sometime in the near future and uh, it's going to be a remembrance of, uh, of New Orleans and the swamps of Livingston and uh, South Louisiana. We love our people, we love our culture and our food and good times and, and we're, we're uh, happy and blessed that you guys have uh, come down here to share your music, man. It's incredible. I've, I've listened to probably over a thousand bands in my career and in my life. And, uh, you guys, I tell everybody, if you're not tapping your foot and doing like this and moving your head, after the first song, then something wrong with you for coming to the show, That's man. Funny. Electric, electric. But so, what did like, like, what was your you? You did a lot with music. Like, what was kind of what, what what brought you in, and what did you do? Well, I, I came. I went to a university, uh, and and I started as a stagehand, a student stagehand. I worked at a university. A university, mm -hmm. LSU, LSU. Yeah, <laughs> Alabama didn't beat them this year, but it's always next year. But you know. <laughs> Uh, I started at LSU, uh, Pete Maravich Assembly Center, the PMAC, and uh, started as a student worker and worked my way up, uh, worked shows all over the South, uh, got my education, paid for it, took me a little longer than most traditional students, you know, six and a half years for my uh, bachelor's and uh, 20 years for my master's, but I did it. Uh, 20 years. And I say, you know, I'm a little overeducated. I'm a farm boy yeah. by trade and by birth, and by birth. Understanding, but yeah. overeducated. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Overeducated. Uh, but anyway, I've had a very good, blessed life, uh, uh, and I enjoy meeting people around the world, or, or even sometimes in my backyard that, that we share uh, either food, music, uh, life stories, family, oh, etc. So that's what it's all about. Your your post. One of the older posts, he said some things. I thought he was going to get very political, and, and I was very nervous the day before they got here. And it really touched my heart because it was things that are true to my heart. Uh, and I think a lot of Americans and a lot of uh, uh, people from Germany and France and everywhere, I, I think they're hardcore. So I, I really thank you for sharing that yeah, piece of your uh, respect of, of, of human nature. Uh, and the things you said were very, uh, were very good for people that need need to know, man. You know, these are troubling times. They're only troubling if you let them trouble you. But as long as you go out and try to do good, That's and, and uh, share your music, and work at it, you know what I mean? eat good. Don't wrestle with too many alligators. No, just, yeah. enough, just the, just the ones you can that. bring down. Don't pick fights with the yeah. twelve footers. Just take the five footers. You know what I'm but, saying? But uh, anyway, we got this. We got this theme. Lose your ties, yeah. Lose your ties. And it's about it's about you know I used to have a, another job. Sure, I, I, I used to have to wear a tie to work every day, and yes. now you don't anymore. No, I don't. And so what what does that that theme kind of mean to you? Lose your ties. That, that that to me is it's where you uh, you have a plateau of your life, and it doesn't matter if you you know a tie sometimes were was even in the olden days uh, uh, a symbol of status, a symbol of, of importance. 
And that's what's good about the world today. I think we're losing some of those ties to where we're not saying, hey, you're better than me, mm. or I'm better than you, or anybody else. You know, mm, you're preach, losing Eric. your ties uh, that sometimes can be construed as choking or stuffy, as they say in other parts yeah, of the world, you know? Yeah. So losing your ties to me is just letting it, just relaxing and listen to great music, uh, and great friends and family, and of course, in Louisiana, it's all about the food. The food, the music is, is where we're at in Louisiana. See, overeducated, that's what it is. Overeducated. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to spend some time with you, my friend. Man, y'all come back soon. Yeah, we will. Yeah. I know it. I, I, know. I, know. I love it.